हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वी टी शिक्षण माई सेल्फ प्रोफेसर नितिन कुमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सी एस सी वी वी सी माइसो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोग्राम नंबर फोर विच इज प्रेजेंट इन वी टी यू मोबाइल अप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट लैबोरेटरी सिलेबस ऑफ सिक्स सेमिस्टर सी एस सी एंड आई एस सी सो द प्रोग्राम नंबर फोर डील्स विद अ वॉल वॉल पेपर अप्लीकेशन वॉट इज दिस वॉल पेपर अप्लीकेशन इट्स अ सिंपल अप्लीकेशन देर इज नथिंग मच प्रेजेंट फॉर डिजाइन सो वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू डू इज so you are going to provide a button in your application whenever the user clicks on that button how many images that you have placed in your application those images should change every 30 second once okay so please up the coming to the design requirement firstly the first thing is you have to download download five images so download five images okay so that should be of jpg or png format and mention the name as 1 jpg this format will be automatically rendered just give the name 1 2 like up to 5 in lower case letters that's the prerequisite that you have to do download five images of the format jp g r jpeg r png and name those images are 1 2 3 4 5 and save those images inside the drawable folder that's the prerequisite that is required for this particular wall paper change application okay once after downloading five images rename those images as 1 2 3 4 5 and place those images inside the drawable folder so once after that coming to the design of this particular application design is very much simple just this is my design activity inside that i am going to place a button and i am going to rename it as change wallpaper change wallpaper okay so you can go with the constraint layout or relative layout why because i am going to add only one button for this one button there is no need of worrying about the layouts so either you can go with the constraint relative or which one you feel comfortable you can use that one layout okay and add one button and rename that button to change wallpaper so please remember one thing with respect to this program concerned one software clicking on this button you have to exit from this application to see, see the output you can see the output by uh, exiting this from this application the wallpapers will be changed in your mobile or in your emulator that you are going to use to see the output okay so the layout that i am going to prefer for this particular application is relative layout relative layout and how many components are required so just i will give the title also wallpaper application i need two components so the first component is one text view just to display the title of the application and i need one button so whenever the user clicks on this button and if he exits so for every 30 second once the five wallpapers images that you have downloaded will be keep on changing that's the outcome of this particular wallpaper application let's start the development of this application let's start the implementation of wallpaper change application so i will open a new project new project and i will select the empty activity and i will give the name as wallpaper application and finish so i will close the previous one so my new project is synchronizing with the griddle so before the synchronization happens as i mentioned earlier i will main i will uh, download the five images So let's select the IPL teams logos as the images. So 
so and as i mentioned earlier so you have to use either jpg or png format images i will save it so next downloaded the sunrisers hyderabad next let's look for rcb logo here we have so here i'm downloading the five images which are required for my application So make sure that you will download JPG or PNG format images. Okay, and while saving these images, make sure that you will give lowercase letters. Don't use numbers or special characters. So please observe here. Now I have five images present here. So and make sure that those images are in JPG format. I have downloaded fifth one. Okay make sure check the properties of those images oh it's in jpg no problem check the properties of all the images and png also no problem okay fine all images are in png or jpg so my application is now ready the gradle has been synchronized just look at this message so you have to wait until the synchronization message you receive gradle synchronization is finished okay so firstly i will start with the design so as i mentioned earlier in the design part design is very simple just you are going to add a title as well as one button so title is already here so i will use the same i am not going to change the layout so i will rename this title so in place of hello word i will change the text i will rename it as wall paper application and i will increase the font size so next i will add a button which is required so whenever the user clicks on this button the wallpapers that i am going to provide in my logic part will keep on changing for every 30 second once so i will change the text click here to change wallpaper So now my design is ready. Just a simple design. Just you have to place a text, just to indicate the title of the application. Along with that, you have to place a button. Okay. So I will note down the button ID. Why? Because which is required as per my design requirement. Why? Because we are going to write the function for this button. Okay. I've just I will note down the ID of this button. So ID of the button is button. That's it. okay so from here onwards in your java part if you want to identify this button means i am going to use the name button in identification process 
okay so now so before i start with the java part so now i need to add this five images which i have downloaded to the drawable folder so the drawable folder so that i can use those images for the to change the wallpaper so i will select those five images which i have downloaded which are the logos of ipr teams 1 2 3 4 5 and i will copy those images and i will paste it in the drawable folder so please remember you it will ask the permission to refactor why because initially when this project was created there was no external files are added so now i am adding the previously cre for i am adding the new files for the previously created project that's why it is asking the permission refactor and make sure that after giving the refactor permission you should not get any error messages in this images just observe csk.jpg king.jpg kkr.jpg rcb.jpg srh.png there should not be any errors that in, that's indicates that the images that i have used in my application so our jpg format and the naming convention is correct okay so now i will begin with the logic part okay where i am going to write the logic to perform to change the wallpaper so here the method invocation that i am going to follow here is direct method invocation i am going to use direct method means so as i mentioned earlier direct way of method invocation where we are going to follow four steps step number 1 you have to identify the component id so here we have done with the identification that is button next you have to add the action listener you have to done you have to identify this particular button in the java part by using find view by id then you need to add the action listener so inside the action listener you are going to get a method by name on click okay so for that you are going to uh, write the logic okay so please observe firstly i am going to declare the global variables that is i am going to use the button so i am going to give a name for the button the global name from here onwards i am going to use that name change wallpaper so from here onwards so whenever wherever i am going to use this so we need to follow camel case naming convention otherwise it will show error error not error just a warning will be placed there so cha change wallpaper is the name that i have refer reference name that i have given for the button next i need as i mentioned earlier in the previous requirement so yo the picture the screen saver should change every 30 second once that's why i need timer i will call the timer and i will give the reference as my timer so next so uh, we are working with the drawable folder so this program is completely dependent on the drawable folder so where we are going to convert the images into bitmap that's why i need the drawable so i will declare that one also next so there is a predefined service which is available in this android that is wallpaper manager which can be used for this kind of applications so i will call that wallpaper manager and i will give the reference wp yeah okay and we are going to traverse from first image to fifth image so i am going to declare a variable here int previous so that value has been set to 1 so it must begin with the first image okay so these are the variables which we need to declare as a global one so the button variable that we are using here is change wallpaper and as we need to change the wallpaper every 30 second once i'm using my timer and we are deal working with the images which are present in the drawable folder which will be converted into bitmap so that's why we need that uh, support of drawable 
as well as this wallpaper change is an inbuilt service which is already available in the android that wallpaper in the wallpaper manager that i am going to call here and i am declaring a value previous it starts from 1 okay so next i need to recognize the button and the timer and the variables which i have declared here in my program so firstly i will recognize the timer what we have defined as a my timer it's nothing but we are going to call the new timer okay so next what is wpm it's nothing but wallpaper manager is equal to the wallpaper manager because I, we need to get the instance of that wallpaper manager wallpaper manager dot get instance the context is this activity in this activity so next we are done with the identification of timer as well as calling the timer as well as wallpaper manager next we need to identify this button as i mentioned earlier you have to remember the idea of that button the idea of the button is just button okay so the reference that we are using for the button is change wallpaper is equal to method that we have to use is identity for the identification find view by id id is button just button okay so we are done with the identification of button so firstly as i mentioned earlier in the direct method invocation you have to note down the id once after noting down the id then you have to identify that particular button using that id in the java part next you have to add the action listener so how to add the action listener use the reference dot set on click listener new view on click listener it will automatically override on click method on click method where you are going to place the logic on click method okay so what's the drawback of this direct method it will introduce lot of braces that's the one and only drawback so if you are weak in working with the more number of braces it's better to avoid with this direct method instead of that you can place the same logic in the form of a normal java method and you can place it by using the on click feature inside that particular component or button okay so here i'm going to place a logic i'm going to place a method the method name is wallpaper set wallpaper okay set wallpaper so now i need to write the logic just observe it's showing error here why because it's an empty method and i have not written any logic for this one so it's asking me just observe just if you look at this suggestion it is asking me to create a method set wallpaper okay i will select this one so i will create a method by name private method which is applicable for only this particular program private void set wallpaper okay now that error has been removed okay so inside the set wallpaper firstly i will call the timer why because for every 30 second once the wallpaper must change right so my timer dot schedule new timer task so please observe it will automatically provide this override method called run okay so there are some errors don't worry about those errors which will automatically go once you write the logic okay so once you call this timer to schedule so it will automatically provide a method by name run public void run okay inside this method i'm going to write the logic one by one if initially if previous is equal to one means the present wallpaper is the first one okay drawable we will call the drawable 
Why? Because where only there only we have placed the uh, images, right? Drawable dot get resources dot get drawable r dot drawable dot first image which image you are going to place i will place rcp okay so if the previous is equal to 1 set this rcb logo as a image and change the previous is equal to 2 okay and change the previous is equal to 2 next else if the previous is equal to 2 previous is equal to 2 drawable same logic we are going to follow is equal to get resources dot get drawable r dot drawable dot set csk i am setting the second wallpaper and change the previous is equal to 3 ok so next i am going to place series of if else ladder condition else if previous is equal to 3 change the drawable to get resources get drawable or dot drawable dot SRH I am giving priority for South Indian teams previous and I have changed the previous to 4 ok so next the last but next one else if same logic we are going to follow previous is equal to 4 change the drawable to the KKR team or dot drawable dot KKR and change the previous to 5 last one else if previous is equal to 5 means we are presenting KKR change the drawable to Kings 11 Punjab dot drawable dot Kings and so once you reach 5 once again you must go back to 1 that is previous is equal to 1 ok so don't worry about this error I will show how to rectify this one once the program is complete it will automatically go so just observe so firstly I have recognized the button then I have added the on click listener inside the on click listener I have called a method called set wallpaper so it was showing the error that's why I have written a method by name set wallpaper separately where I have called the timer to schedule the timer task means it will it must change for every 30 second once so it will automatically provide the run method so as I indicated the previous value is equal to 1 as a global variable it starts with 1 the logo that I am using in the first place is RCB and I will change the previous to 2 if the previous is 2 the logo is presented RCB I need to change that to CSK and the previous will be incremented 3 if the previous is equal to 3 means the same thing will be applied until the previous reaches 5 so once the previous is equal to 5 I am going to change the previous to set the previous to 1 means it should begin from the RCB image ok so once after this so as I mentioned earlier the images will be deed here in the form of bitmap ok I will call the bitmap bitmap wallpaper is equal to
bitmap drawable what is there in the drawable folder and get the bitmap okay so now while running this there might be chances of error so in such scenarios so we have to perform exception landing otherwise your application will get crashed that's why i will introduce the try catch block here try catch block just observe i will add try okay try where i am going to call the wallpaper manager that is nothing but wpm dot set bitmap what we are changing here the wallpaper Okay, don't worry about the error. I will show how to rectify this. Why? Because it is asking for the permission. Okay, so you have to give the permission here. Just observe, it is, this error will appear even if you do the code line by line without by following your lab manual. Also, you are going to get this error. How to rectify this error? Just place the cursor here. You are going to get the suggestion like here like this. So where you need to give the permission to uh mobile to change the wallpaper wallpaper is in a system application so it is asking for the permission so you have to allow had permission that's it that error will be removed okay so next along with the try you must have the catch right you must have the catch that is the exception that we are going to get here is io exception io exception so that is stack trace exception that we are going to get print stack trace so finally finally we have to provide finally we have to provide the time in milliseconds that is zero delays zero followed by so period is 30 second means 30000 milliseconds okay that's it so just once after this if you look at this whole code there will be no errors okay so i will explain this once again firstly you have to define the reference for the button reference for the timer reference for the drawable and reference for the wallpaper manager and initially the previous will begin from 1 so firstly i will call the timer in my program why because for every 30 second once the wallpaper must change that's why i need the timer next to change the wallpaper we have a inbuilt service that the name is wallpaper manager next i will rec i am recognizing the button by using its id then i am adding the action listener once you had the action listener it will automatically provide the method by name on click so inside that method i am calling a another method by name set wallpaper initially it will show error that's why i am writing a separate method by name private which is applicable for only this activity so once you are done with writing the private method set wallpaper i will call the timer to schedule this task so it will automatically override the method run so as i mentioned the previous is equal to 1 the first logo will be changed as a wallpaper that is rcb once the rcb appears as a wallpaper so we will set the previous to 2 and it will wait for 30 seconds so once if the previous is 2 the csk will become as a wallpaper and it will set the previous to 3 and it will wait for 30 seconds same thing is applicable till it reaches the previous is equal to 5 once it reaches the previous is equal to 5 it will be present at king 11 punjab and once again we are going to change it to previous one means that's nothing but rcb so as we are working with the images we need the bitmap bitmap wallpaper manager okay drawable get that bitmap so once after that we need to uh, place the try catch exception why because so if the wallpaper change will not is not happened then the except standing should happen that's why i'm calling the try catch block and inside the try catch block i'm trying to set the wallpaper change so if the change has not happened means it will print the stack space exception then afterwards i need to provide the delay delay will be always zero and 30 seconds it's nothing but 30000 milliseconds 
Is that clear? So as this method is returned by using the direct method of method invocation, there is no need of placing this method inside the design part. Directly you can execute this. Okay, I will show the execution. Please observe here. I will run this program. So this program doesn't have any complex logic or complex design. Just the thing is, you must add five images which must be in JPG or PNG format. Once you are done with adding the five images in JPG or PNG format, just add a button as well as a title and note down the button ID. Once you are done with adding the button uh, title and the note downing the button ID, so please observe, you will come across this kind of scenario where the my emulator was running but due to the over usage, due to the lack of memory, so it has uh, stopped. So if that's the case, what you are going to do is, you are going to, you go to the AVD manager and you are going to wipe the data. Okay. So once after wiping the data, you are going to execute it once again. Okay. So once your design is ready, you are going to de define the variables which are required for your program. And please remember the previous will begin with one. Then you are going to declare the components or the services which are required such as wallpaper manager and timer. Then you are going to identify the button that you, that you have used in your design and you are going to add the action listener. Inside that action listener, inside that on click method, you are going to write a method by name set wallpaper. Initially it will show error. Then you are going to write the separate logic for that set wallpaper. So then you will call the scheduler for my task. Okay. So the, it will automatically override method by name run. Inside that run, so firstly we will start with the previous means you are going to set the first image as a wallpaper and you are going to wait for 30 seconds. So and you are going to change the previous to 2. So it will keep on changing like that until the previous reaches 5. Once the previous reaches 5, the previous will be set to 1. It's nothing but RCB. So then we need to place the try catch block. Why? Because in between while changing the wallpaper, if anything goes wrong, so that should handle the exception. That's why. And the delay is 0. And as given in the question, the wallpaper change must happen 30 second once. So my application is ready. Now it is installing. So how to see the output for this particular application? You have to click on change wallpaper and you have to wait for 30 seconds. So just observe, this is my application which I have designed. Is it same? Which I have designed on the board as well as the design part. Now I will click on change wallpaper button. Okay, I have clicked. So I will close this application. Just observe RCB is appearing why because the logo is uh, font is different that's why uh, it is not visible just observe so for 30 second once the wallpaper will change so the next uh, icon uh, the logo that's going to appear is CSK like that it will change until it reaches the fifth one CSK is it visible Next, after 30 seconds, it will change to SRH. So this change will happen until it reaches the fifth image. Once it reaches the fifth image, once again, it will be set back to RCB. So please remember, if you install this application in your mobile, and if you click on change wallpaper, this change is applicable until that application is present in your phone. So if you want to uh, stop this change means you have to uninstall that application unless and until you uninstall this application so your mobile please observe your mobile change will not stop so just observe SRH logo is here. that's all this is your fourth application the name is wallpaper change thank you